Hey there everyone, welcome back to uh, Diabetic Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And I'm um, just gonna get started. Uh, we kind of went over that the file was deleted, a couple or by accident. I mean, they deleted the file so we didn't have this one anymore. I backed up this file, that was my normal Twitch file. Uh, we started a, a new kind of game, starting over. We unlocked Maggie last time we played Isaac, and it was a good run. Kind of a cool run too. Um, I dislike Maggie, I'm sorry if you guys really enjoy going slow, but that is not something that I usually do, either on stream or anywhere, really. Um, yeah, I, I'm gonna play Isaac again, because I, I just dislike slow swag of Maggie. Um, I'm hoping to unlock some other characters here, hoping to get maybe a Judas, maybe an Azazel, and I'm not a huge Azazel fan, just because it's generally easy. Which isn't a bad thing, it's not a bad thing to have a character that's easier than others, um... But... I, uh, Really don't feel like playing Maggie. I, I mean, we're going to eventually, it's going to happen. But right now, we're playing Isaac. And uh, we got a pretty good start, we got Pyromaniac, which is five bombs, and now bombs heal us. Um, on top of that, you may have noticed that we picked up the, uh, Petrified Poop, which will increase drops from poops. Um, and that's good too. That is good. Uh, the Pyromaniac is also a special item, marked in the code as special. Um, having multiple special items will reduce your chance of having other special items. Um, I will go ahead and blow this up and demonstrate Pyromaniac. Woo! See, so we got hit. Um, I'm gonna leave that solar till the end of the floor, just because I don't want to lose it yet. Um, I'd like to keep that to the two, or for next floor. Um, by having it for next floor, and not taking red heart damage, we'll be able to guarantee ourselves a double deal, which is really, really nice. Uh, let's continue. We're going through this uh, big room. I mean, overall, we could go explore a little bit more. There's another, it's like a pretty large, medium-sized room at the bottom. I don't know if there's anything that I'm really looking for. Maybe a curse room. That'd be kind of fun. Besides that, I think we're pretty good. And this room is handled. We get another bomb, which is very nice for our current setup. Uh, again, bombs heal us. Other opponent's bombs will heal us as well. Let's see if I can place a bomb right here. Get some... Uh, we, we got him a little bit. I'm probably not going to waste another bomb. We'll kind of keep where we're at. But that was, that was not a bad bomb. Uh, we're fighting Larry Jr. there. Getting hits, fine. I mean, I can take a hit and then heal up with a bomb if I need to. I mean, there, there's so many things I could do with our kind of setup. Uh, he's just giving me lots lots of love. Lots of Larry love. Those kisses are great. I don't really need to dodge because, I mean, ooh, health. But I mean, if I was close to death, I would definitely pop down a bomb and... We'd be safe and stuff, and feel better about ourselves a little bit. But there's some cases where you just don't want to dodge. I mean, there's... I, I don't usually want to dodge. I, what I want is, um... The game to give me rooms that are very easy to dodge. That way I don't have to overwork. But the game doesn't do that a lot. Generally, you have to spend a lot of time dodging very well. Which I, I can also do. I'm not complaining. I can do that as well. But, um... That is that. So right now we're using the Petrified Poop and popping some poops to get some extra money. Um, we are able to go to the shop, maybe not right now. The Chris room is garbage. It was, it was garbage last run too. All we've seen is pretty much spiders in here. Which I'm not used to. I'm used to getting like better things. Like pentagrams and soul hearts and great items. That's not the case. We're gonna go ahead and bomb right here to hopefully get a uh, secret room. A battery. That's, that's nice. That'll... That is, that's really, really good. A fully charged space bar item, which, as you can probably tell, we don't have one. So we can play soccer if you want. Ooh. Catch. Goalie. Score. Okay. We're done with that game. We're grabbing our soul heart. We're leaving this floor. We're going to go on to uh, basement, too. I don't think we have a locked cellar on this floor as well. Or yet, rather. Um, basement 2 is cool. I mean, generally, I don't want cellar. Cellar's harder. Let's, let's go down first. We might make our way to the uh, bigger room here in a moment, but we don't need to do that now. We can see if this is the right way and if we can find our item room without doing that. Uh, that was a very dumb dodge. I shouldn't have gotten hit. I was kind of in the, the basement one mindset of, hey, we can take damage, but that is not the case. We cannot do that. If we take red heart damage, we will lose our double deal chance. So we're going to probably try a little bit harder now to not take red heart damage. We did find our item room, so we're gonna go kill these enemies to get there. We have four keys, seven bombs. We do have like good 
advantages in terms of uh, consumables. Nine coins isn't bad either. If we find some more uh, money, we'll probably go to the shop sometime, I guess. But right now, we really don't need to go to the shop. All we need is our item room with a great item, I'm sure, right inside. Ooh, I mean, it's okay. It's eco lie. It's gonna allow us to, uh, upon touching enemies, they'll turn into poop. Which I guess is something. Um, I made a mistake. I didn't. We're good. Thought I had a good plan and backed myself into a corner. That was not a good plan. Um, I put down a bomb, so if they got close, I would just explode. And since we uh, don't take bomb damage, uh, we'd be good on that. Up to 13 cents now. Almost 15. 14 is really getting close, though. We can. Definitely make our way over there shortly. I'm, su I'm sure these poops, though, will give us the one cent we need with the petrified poop, and then all of our worries will go away. I wish we could just... What if we could just shit or poop in real life? I don't know if you're offended by language. It, it, shit's not a bad word it, to me, anyways. Maybe it is, but... I mean, if you did that and you shot the poop in real life and got some money from it, that'd be kind of cool. I think I'm going to buy it. I've never... We've never had this in this... Current game, we unlock the blue map by getting uh, 10 coins in the shop. Uh, the boomerang is going to fire out like that. It's going to hit things. It's able to grab us things as well. I don't think it can grab the heart. We'll see. It does, okay. But maybe it doesn't if you have full health, but it, it does. Um, what about here? Yeah, it works. Pretty cool item. Pretty cool item. Very underused, especially at my stream where we're using the D6. We don't really mess around with uh, boomerangs too much, but it's a very cool item. I can probably go back and get some of those other advantages there, which I plan to do. Um, look at that. So cool. So fancy. So fancy. Um, let's go ahead and check that out, actually. Let's go. Uh, we're not in a hurry. We can go right over there. We can get that bomb and maybe that coin. And uh, just building up advantages. One advantage at a time. We can go ahead and swirl while we're waiting. And they're up to five coins and six bombs, two keys. Again, really good consumables. Probably gonna check for a secret room here shortly. It could be here. It could be there. It's not, okay. Yeah, let's try right here next to the boss room. It could be here as well. It is not. Okay, so we're down to four bombs. I guess I'll check right here. I guess I'm wrong. I might cry now? I, I don't know. That was There's too many bombs wasted to really go look for more. I'm just... I'm done. I don't need the secret room. Um, don't need it. So, it does freeze. It doesn't look like it's that long. I thought it was a little bit longer. It really isn't. But that's okay. We can just play with it around with our boomerang a little bit. Freeze! You're under rest. No. Monsters a fun, fun boss. It's one of the bosses that, really from Wrath of the Lamb to this game, hasn't changed a lot. I mean, you see the kind of bounce graphics, the kind of shock wave, but in general, the boss didn't get harder, didn't get easier. But he's an easier boss now, because kind of like, compared to Pin, much harder boss. I mean, Pin from Wrath of the Lamb to this game, you used to be able to one bomb Pin in the original. Can't do that now, at all. Um, Meets a point three damage up and health up. I like that. And we got a shovel, a ghost baby, and a cat head. I think I'm gonna take the cat head. I'm gonna touch it. I think I'm gonna take this. I think that's all I'm gonna take. Well, let's go ahead and take ghost baby. He's he's gonna miss us. He's gonna add some extra DPS for us to hit things with. I'll do it. I'm not afraid. Those ghosts. So, I don't normally pay a full heart from, but he's gonna add in the extra damage. I mean, each shot, if we figure he does 3.5 damage, that is extra damage per second. That's more uh, DPS. So I don't mind. Now that's Tammy's head. Dude, which do I like more? I don't know. I feel like Tammy's head's really good, really strong. I just wish there was the Tammy synergy, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but that or flies, that's a hard one. That's a hard one for me. I think I might try Tammy's head, we can always come back if we change our mind. I feel like I'm gonna stick with it. 
And then we just bought the, the Guppy's head. It's still gonna count for a cup part of Guppy, so that's the cool thing. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use Tammy's head. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. I'm getting a lot of head this run. I mean, look at that. It did two shot, I mean, er, one shot, two different enemies. Um, that flies. I don't think could have done that. I don't think they could have. Sword is great because our last one's kind of on a limb. It's on that half heart. Um, and now we don't have to worry so much. If we get hit, we will still have that soul heart there. I do want to go to the shop, but I will fight the boss. Um, that was the dumbest dodge I've ever done in my entire life. No, I've done more not smart things. I right, get rid of those extra ones there. This might take a little bit, but I am more happy now than ever that I got this one. Because you can could, you could see the damage being done by it. I mean, it's... It's adding up. And I'm going to try to take out Gertie before I mess with the flies, because I don't really want to uh, mess with the flies and then not deal with Gertie. I mean, Gertie's going to spawn more flies. So if I could just kill the Gertie spawning them, it's going to get rid of the source. It's science and stuff, guys. It's science and math. There's calculations. That's dumb. Don't do that. Don't do what I do. Dodge better. I mean, that was those two hits in a fight I should have taken no damage in. Another devil deal with a lunch or an HP up. That is two cat pieces. And we've unlocked Azazel. Now again, Azazel is a really cool character. I'm not sure if I want it right now. Um, on just a half heart, I can't. I can't justify doing that. Can't justify taking the flight. Maybe if we had some more advantages, another... You know, I totally missed this Tinder Rock. I'm sure you guys were... Hey, you should totally do that. Now I probably would have gone with the flight. But that's okay. We don't need it. That's only flight. And, uh... Special tears. We don't need it. We can take our extra health and be happy. Sometimes you have to just think of things in terms of health. I mean, you have that to be thankful for. Am I right? Um, that's, that's not a bad item. I don't think we've touched it, so we'll touch this, put it back down, and that'll count for uh, items that we've touched in this game. Um, we don't really need to go anywhere else. But we can we can explore. I mean, look at this. We already have 11 coins, 3 bombs, and 1 key. I mean, our coins have gone up, our keys have gone down, and our bombs are around the same. So that's good, I suppose. There's a curse shrimp. This could be Guppy, guys. I am pumped. Is this right here? I got caught on the ledge. That is dumb. Again, don't dodge like I do. He's very confused. Um, that was pitiful. Guppy's right there. Right here. Well, guess what, guys? I don't think we're taking the flight now. That's not Guppy. I'm gonna take some pills. I don't do this. But that's a speed up, and this is a freaking pretty fly. It's gonna give us an orbital that blocks tears. Uh, speed up should be a 0.15 speed up, which is good as well. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Pretty happy. Uh, go in here. We'll go ahead and. I would love both. But I'm gonna probably come back to buy the soul heart. I'm kinda leaning towards that. There's another key that's going to limit, eliminate rather, our uh, current key problems of getting more keys. You know, I could f try to find the secret room. It seems like there's one good spot. There's one really good spot for a, a secret room, which is right here. And it's just not there. It does not exist. I mean, I could try here. I could try here. We found it. And I'm sorry, but I'm not taking that item. I refuse. Game can't make me. I will, however, blow him up. That wasn't worth it. No. I'm not taking Curse Eye. I'm not. It, basically, when you take it, while your eye is um, black, which you're charging your shot, um, don't, don't tell anyone. I, I, I want that key. I want it. 
Just don't, don't tell anyone we, we did that. Um, but yeah, when, you, when you're charging your shot and you get hit, you'll be teleported. Um, but when it's done charging or you're not charging at all, you won't be teleported upon getting hit with Cursed Eye. It uh, shoots like five tiers, I believe. Um, it's all right. It's not going to be that I would take on this run. It's, just, it's not going to happen. I know that because we're on the next floor now without Cursed Eye. And I don't believe we have first time. Because we don't. And we're gonna continue on. We are still two pieces of guppy. One piece would complete us. We'd have all we need. And we'd be able to spawn flies every shot with guppy guppies. Uh, three pieces of guppy. There's a total of six in this game. So we could totally become guppy. I just, I don't know. It, Guppy could be in that curse room right there, but I'm going to wait until after we fight the boss. I don't want to lose my soul heart. I'd like to keep it a little bit longer. I cannot believe that happened. See what I'm talking about? We would have taken red heart damage right there. If we would have uh, gone to the curse room. Isn't that sad? Those little turds got us. More keys, more coins is it's great. We're gonna need to refill our machine again because we did take somebody out. And that's very sad. I mean, I don't like bombing your own machine, but it was so tempting. Well, that's not gonna help. In fact, I'd go so far to say that Greed is not here to help us. Greed is against helping. He is not a helper. And every time I try to get close to him, he just pushes me away! He's so unfriendly! Come on, Green. Don't cooperate a little bit. Don't, don't do this. It doesn't have to be this way! It doesn't have to be this way. You know, my special baby can still shoot you. It, it can! Don't make me get special baby all up on you. It's gonna do work and stuff. I will definitely use a bomb for this chest. I mean, I, it's a cool trinket, but it makes aiming a lot harder. And now we are just trying to find the boss. We didn't find our item room yet. There's still the possibility that we can get an, something great here. Something great, great, great. This is a pretty juicy chest. I like it. And that Tammy's head did not get the enemy I wanted it to. But that's okay, we're gonna slowly clear this room. And go on to uh, brighter and better things than reflecting on this very poor aimed Tammy's head. We got one of the things shooting at us, which isn't bad. I can't believe I got hit there. I really can't. I am stunned, I'm amazed even. And that is how you handle a room where you don't have any damage. And uh, hopefully we never have to witness that again. This is a pretty cool room actually. You get a lot of mushrooms, you get a lot of pills for blowing it up maybe. We need to not take radar damage this floor. I would say that'd be a really good plan. But we have yet to see our boss. I mean, it could be... There's so many bad bosses it could be, couldn't it? Well, I guess let's do it. Let's uh, see what we can, we can do. We're fighting double monster, which isn't the worst boss. I thought we got hit there. I was pretty sure we did. Now we're just gonna slowly navigate around! Come on, really? I mean, I just felt like I was trapped there. I was trying to squeeze through a crack that just wouldn't work. I'm sure we've all had similar problems. Things being too small. We just couldn't fit right through. We couldn't fit.
I'm ashamed of that. Rip Devil Deal! Rip Devil Deal. Rest in peace. Yep. No Devil Deal. Old Banjo is going to be an HP up upon getting hit. We'll also have a chance to spawn a heart. Uh, but it's a pretty cool item. Well, now we can definitely go to the Curse Room. Because there's definitely nothing stopping us now. Uh, I'd also want to go to the... Uh, item Room, Curse Room. And then we can leave for the next floor. Doo doo. I like the music of this game. I really do. Into the curse room we go, and out we come back with Guppy. This is the opposite of Guppy. Would this be the opposite? Four spiders being the opposite of Guppy? Uh, that's a good question. What would be the opposite of Guppy? A cat? It'd be like Cricket's head and a. like. bomb chest, maybe? I don't know. I mean, that, that's not really the opposite, because that's actually really good. I would not be mad if I went in there and found Cricket's head. I mean, look at my damage right now. It's not stunning. In fact, it's pretty bad in, in general. And then we end up with Black Bean. Okay, game. I see where we're going with this. You're telling me that I need all the poop items and everything related. related, related. Nope, that's not a word. Related to, uh, to poop. I mean, we have E. coli. We have, uh, now the Black Bean. Pyromaniac, so things are certainly explosive. This is, uh, getting to be kind of a scary... Scary run. Similar to how scary it was last run. I mean, Sixth Sense is great, but it's not gonna carry us. You know, with two bombs, I'm probably gonna blow up some mushrooms. Oh, for something magnificent. Where can I get blow up the most? Well, this will give me, like, four. If I put it higher, I might be able to get five. Try that. I mean, that's cool, but that's not what I want. It should give me another four. Okay. Let's take it. Health down! Pills are, are painful. Let's go to the next floor. I kind of feel bad about how that floor went. That was not a well-suited floor for us. I mean, that's cool and all, but that's not really that great. This is not looking as good as some of the other runs that we've had. Our chests, though, they are they are magnificent, getting getting us all the consumables. Pull up these for chance of a card. There we go. That's what we needed. A Hierophant card to protect us from red heart damage. That is awesome. The lucky Rock has appeared in the basement, so not bad. And I don't need that item. I'll remember it though. I don't think I need anything here. That was barely helpful. I think we can we can maybe pull this run out. Out of the, the deep waters of the Isaac Death. Depths. I, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know where I, was, where I was going with that. All I know is that this run's not good. And we need to pull it together if we're gonna finish. All we need to do is get to the boom. We need to kill mom. There's not a lot of times we can say that. That is the goal for today, is kill mom. Kinda. Kinda, kinda a bad goal. Unless unless you were, if you are talking outside of Isaac. But in this game, it's an amazing goal. If your uh, hope set high. Trying to get right in there. Do some extra damage with Tammy's head. Try not to get hit, because we want to keep our soul hearts this time. Despite all the other tries of keeping soul hearts. And that is done. We did find our boss. We have not found our item room again. Butterbean has appeared in the basement. It's another cool item. Not really that cool, though. There's cooler items than that. Um, Pushpin's alright. When, it should be one in ten chance to fire a spectral piercing tier. That's what it was in the original. So who knows what it actually is right now? But use two diamonds to double our money that for unlocking Kane. It was a higher damage multiplier than Isaac. Uh, we have not been lucky with our shops this run either. We got the boomerang. I could have taken the boomerang. I could have taken Gumby's head. 
I have zero bombs. So I'm gonna have to deal with greed heads. And uh, super greed here. I made that mistake. I moved down too much. I saw that getting hit. I mean, I tried to dodge as well as I could. But sometimes you just make one false step. And that gets you hit. It's a tear. What hit me? I honestly can't even tell you what hit me there. I actually don't know. I guess there was a stray tear that I just kind of ignored upon being done with the room. That was really strange. Fighting Loki. So the goal with this is to uh, get our devil deal. That's our goal. That pokey is really getting in the way. Like, really getting in the way. Like, not even... I mean, it's, it's purposely being a pain. In my sides. And don't tell me the... A, a bomb... A boom fly. It, it looks like it's made of, um... Some rubber... Some rubberness. It's just bouncing right off the spikes. Please, finish. Yay! I could should have had the bomb that... But that'd be a lot of planning to see that and want to bomb it. But I see the tinted rock. I don't have any bombs. I... This is a scary, scary bomb. And this room's handled! It only took us like 20 minutes. Not really. Found our item room. This item room, guys, is gonna be the greatest. It's guys and gals. Not just leaving the gals out. Best item! It's gonna save the run. It's gonna save it. Right here. Why? That's not good. Well, I'll use it to get some extra poop, but... It's a six-room charge item. It's, it's not bad, but it's not what I need. I am definitely taking Bob's Brain. A pyromaniac, so it can't hurt us. It's only going to heal us. And now we are out of the room. Never to go back again. Um, honestly, I, I want to get a bomb, so I'll go back in. Because a bomb can give me a tinder rock, a tinder rock can give me some health. Well, they are very confused. And no bombs. I, I, I know we can get it. I know we can pull it off. Is there a chest unreachable? Okay. That can help. This is going to be the item that changes history. It's going to open new doors for us. It's going to enable us to get future devil deals. It's the item that I need right now. to get two soul hearts. Very nice. Some extra health is always good. I'll take Petrified Poop back because that's just been helping out a lot. And we are at 97 coins. That's quite a bit. Nothing to do with it too because we've just been running into greed. Where'd we go? I'm gonna do it. Let's just go right in, get our guppy, call it good, so we can finally have some damage. Nice. 
Alright, so now we're gonna spawn flies with every hit upon an enemy. They're gonna do twice their damage, which, by the way, is not a lot. Um, we have flight. We, we needed that, that hit damage really badly. Any DPS up, any form of extra damage is nice. Guppy is really good. It's still gonna be a hard run. It's not a one run yet. It really isn't. If I just take a few bad hits... Okay, so with this amount of swords, I don't know, maybe it's... It looks like it's gonna be a one run. It looks like we'll be able to pull this run through at the very end. Now I'm not so sure. Why is the Bob's brain doing what I need it to? Normally explodes enemies just fine when they're up close. Or 99 coins, and I keep picking them up because they sound pretty good. Anemic blood! Anemic toxic blood. Um, when we get hit, we'll just leave a trail behind of, of blood enemies can step on. That's pretty cool. I mean, I could stay here for days and gamble. I don't really want to do that. I think what I want to do is just blow it up. Just blow it up. Cricket's head. 0.5 damage up. 1.5 times damage multiplier. Parasite has appeared in the basement now. Blow up some uh, extra mushrooms. This run is looking much better. Looking much better. Help then, I don't feel like taking that. I think we're good on that. This run is, is done a complete this floor. This floor is the floor that we were waiting for. This it give we get cricket's head. We get everything. Cricket's head, we get the Guppy, that we, we've always dreamed of for the past few floors. I think we have a guaranteed devil deal now, if we haven't gotten them for the past two floors. Um, and if they work the same way as in the old game, I mean, there's no... I haven't seen exact devil deal mouth posted anywhere. But I'm pretty sure... That we'll, we'll get it. 30 bombs, so we're not gonna die. And uh, another black heart. We've unlocked Lazarus! Lazarus is a pretty cool character. And they were fighting mom. And we'll just kind of take things one step at a time. Did I go to my item room? I can't remember. I did, okay. I didn't go to my sh I did go to my shop. And we got a health up. A 0.7 tiers up and 0.16 uh, shot speed at, uh, down. So here's what I'm going to do. This is great. We're going to take this dead cat. It's going to put us down to one red heart. Then I can take this poor Babylon. And now we have 1.5 damage and 0.3 speed. This is the damage we were looking for. This is the health that we should be able to pull with. Because um, I should be able to kill everything with, with nine lives. I also think it's weird that the horror isn't active on the very first room. Same with like Holy Mantle and stuff like that. It's kind of odd that things don't activate until like the second room. Things are just so weird sometimes. But I'm pretty happy with this run. I mean, it was kind of scary at first. It didn't really look like things were going to go anywhere, and then things changed. Which, that can happen a lot in, uh, in Isaac, where things just change in, in a matter of, like, seconds. It went from being a bad run to being this really good run. So... I'm just trying to find out where this net lost enemy is. Oh, it's right in front of my face! Thank you, game, for putting him right there. Again, it's, it's, I'm not so worried that we're gonna die, because we're not. And if we do die, we have live other lives we can use. Um, it's just more that I just don't like the mechanics of that enemy. It's not like I think that they're... No, it's exactly that what I think. I think they're unfair. I actually don't think I can dodge that enemy with skill. Because there is RNG to where it just, it's just right under you. Like you really can't move in a way that will dodge that enemy. Um, which is not what I am what I like. I don't like that. I like to be able to say, hey, you can throw as many tears at me as you want. But I can move through them. I can do my own thing. 
But as soon as you tell me you're just taking damage in this room, that's when I'm like, eh, why? Why not program it better to where it's not just random damage that I'm taking? Like, I can't avoid it? That is my tangent on that. We're fighting Loki. This Loki fight might go a little bit better, I have a feeling. Um, I did get hit. But that's okay. Loki's horns has appeared in the basement. We got speedball, which is speed and shot speed up. And this is a tinder rock right there, because there's an X in the bottom right hand corner. Mr. Mega has appeared in the basement! Two stars, so it should be fine. Arcade! Do, 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 do. I'm gonna play this one. If we were to get a uh, Joker card, we could go to fight Shoal. That's kinda neat. I'm not gonna take that! The reason why I'm not gonna take that is we have 4 of Babylon, which activates at a half heart or less. We aren't playing as Eve, it's a full heart. Um, again, I don't feel like I could dodge that any better. So that's cool. We lost both hearts in one room. I, that's kind of what I expect in rooms like that. But I, that one I probably could have dodged a little bit better, because I think I had my map open and it was harder to see anyways, but... I mean, in general game, it's, it's just... I know I would address the game there, but it's silly. I guess we need that. Damage reduction. We need... To reduce the damage we take, it's a chance to block tears upon getting hit. Which I don't mind. Speed up, I definitely like speed ups. We'll take more of that. We'll run through rims now. Ultrasonic speed. We'll only take the virus, which is no longer a speed down. We unlocked a little baggie, and that has appeared in our basement. Meaning that it's unlocked. It's unlocked. It's something that we could use later in the future. That chest was less significant. I'm not using Timmy's head as much, I know that. It's not really necessary for me. I mean, it's a cool item, but it's just... At some point, it's not worth it. It's better just to shoot. That was pretty cool, though. Things are slow. Devil Deal has appeared. So rather than just go to the chest, we're actually going to go to Shoal, which is exciting. We've unlocked Eden. He's also a very cool character. What I'm excited about with, with Shoal is that I'm going to be able to unlock an item here that I like a lot. One of my favorite items. It is a special item, too. According to the game's eyes. And this special item would be Bob's Knife. Which I don't think we unlocked in our last gameplay, if I remember right. We either haven't unlocked it or we just unlocked it before the game was erased. Either way, this is exciting. This is a time of change and victory. And dead ends. And tons of dead ends. I'm the full clear champion with uh, in regards to clearing floors like this. Uh, Loki can also spawn right on you, which is a little scary. Every time it, it jumps, I'm always like, that's a little freaky. Don't jump on me. That's okay. That extra solar is really nice. I'm sure we won't even need... Another soul art. We found the boss. We're ready to go. Fighting Satan. There's another Tinder Rock there. I know it's gonna. I got it. I see it. Now yeah, we're, we're fine. We're really good. One, two, three. I mean, that was probably a little bit slower. It works for me. Um, Magic Mushroom Fur Rim, that, that is the strength card. It's uh, 0.3 damage up. 1.5 times damage multiplier. It's a um, 5.25 range up, a 0.5 tier height up, a 0.3 speed up, a health up, and full health. That is the Magic Mushroom. Basically, it's just a lot of really good stats that you should like and love and treasure. But we have Pyromaniac, so explosions aren't going to hurt us. Satan is down. Go into the chest to unlock the knife.
So embarrassingly enough, I accidentally muted my mic for the ending when I was was talking, and that's why it was silent. But you saw page flips, and um, but that's okay because I can say the exact same thing right now, which basically was I really like this run. I think overall, I'm really happy that um, we unlocked Mom's knife. We got Judas now. Judas is gonna be a lot of fun for the next run. Um, and I kind of like runs where we, we you're not giving a, giving a lot and you kind of make it work, which is why on my YouTube videos as I went down here and showed you, we have a win streak of two. That's because I don't hold R, I don't reset, I just do the runs as I see them and kind of try to make them work, which is why I really like this game. It is sort of like a puzzle. That is exactly what I said. Um, it just uh, took a lot and I'm sorry that the video was silent during that part. But if you enjoyed the video, um, feel free to drop a subscribe or something like that on YouTube. Um, if you want to catch me live, I live stream every single day from 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to 7 on twitch.tv forward slash diabetic. But that is the end. I'm sorry about the silence. Blame blame me and my forgetfulness of meeting the mic during cutscenes. Um, but I'll see you guys later. Have a good one and thank you for watching.